Hello, welcome to my game room. Today I wanted to show you uh, a pinball machine that's uh, near and dear to me. I've been in the pinball hobby approximately 15 years. This one was my very per first one that I purchased. Uh, the thing I want to show you today is the Bright Caps um, pop bumper replacement lights that I put on. These are LED lights. I'm not real big on LEDs, but I do um, really like these caps. I tried them first on Taxi. I really love them there, so I thought I'd try them out on Firepower, and uh, I really like the look, and I hope you do too. Okay, just to give you an idea what's involved with the modification here, pretty straightforward. Here is the uh, standard pop bumper socket that is in the Firepowers. Um, nothing too special about it. Ends get soldered on there. Uh, this fits down inside the pop bumper body. Here's the Bright Mods um, module here. Uh, you've got LEDs on the underside which face down uh, and to illuminate the bottom of the playfield. Very cool. You've got on the top side, you've got LEDs on the outside. These point inward and these point straight up. And you've got a brightness adjustment here. And on the back side, you've got a switch. And the switch controls these center lights, whether they're on all the time or they're on when they sense vibration, basically when the um, ball hits the pop bumper. As you see, this is the style contact it uses. So in order to use these, you have to get rid of this. Install one of these. It's a uh, 555 light socket style, wedge base. Pretty straightforward. You just cut the old one out, pull it out, put this one in, and solder in the new wires. Okay, I'm going to show you their operation now. Um, I'll just grab a ball out of the trough after I start a game, and uh, you can see how they work. Now on the firepower, there is no uh, pop-upper lights before you hit the one through six targets. So they don't really do anything quite yet. Deployed. Run the ball through it here. Provides a good show. Now when you hit the one through six target again, they'll all illuminate. Now I've got the centers set to only activate when a uh, when they sent shock. So you can you can bang on it here and they'll light up. Well, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. One more thing, uh, the uh, bright caps do raise up the pop-upper cap uh, a few millimeters. And I did verify on this that the glass won't clear, of course. Uh, that was one of my concerns, but uh, there is still plenty of clearance for it. Unfortunately, you can see the, the top of the ring here, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. And it doesn't really bother me anymore. It did for the first few minutes, but hey, I got over it. And uh, I think it's a great upgrade, and hope you liked it. Thank you. Fire power.